Dr. Abdul Kalam, also known as the Missile Man of India, was an exemplary aerospace scientist and is remembered for his contributions towards the developments of India's missile project. His indelible contribution towards national development, be it as a scientist and as the President of India, gives strength to millions. Dr. Kalam was born in the 15th of October, 1931, raised in Rameswaram, Tamil Nadu. He studied physics and aerospace engineering. He spent the next four decades as a scientist and science administrator, mainly at the Defense Research and Development Organization and Indian Space Research Organization. He was mainly involved in India's civilian space program and military missile development efforts. For his excellent work on the development of ballistic missile and launch vehicle technology, there he came to be known as the Missile Man of India. Dr. Kalam had served as the president between 2002 and 2007. Prior to this, in 1998, he played a crucial role in the success of the Pokhran II nuclear test. That included five detonations, one fusion bomb, and four fission bombs, which made India the world's sixth nuclear power, broke the nuclear monopoly of the five members of the UN Security Council. The United States, the Soviet Union, Great Britain, China, and France. And joining the nuclear club of the world superpowers. In the 1970s, Dr. Kalam also directed two projects. Project Devil and Project Valiant, which sought to develop ballistic missiles from the technology of the successful SLV program. Despite the disapproval of the Union Cabinet, Prime Minister Indira Gandhi allotted secret funds for these aerospace projects through her discretionary powers under Kalam's directorship. Kalam played an integral role convincing the Union Cabinet to conceal the true nature of these classified aerospace projects. His research and educational leadership brought him great laurels and prestige in the 1980s which prompted the government to initiate an advanced missile program under his directorship. Kalam played a major part in developing many missiles under the mission, including Agni, an intermediate-range ballistic missile, and Prithvi, the tactical surface-to-surface -surface missile. Dr. Kalam served as the chief scientific advisor to the Prime Minister and Secretary of the Defense Research and Development Organization, from July 1992 to December 1999. The Pokhran II nuclear tests were conducted during this period, in which he played an intensive political and technological role. Kalam served as the chief project coordinator, along with Rajagopala Chidambaram, during the testing phase. Media coverage of Kalam during this period made him the country's best-known nuclear scientist. However, the director of the site test, K. Santhanam, said that the thermonuclear bomb had been a fizzle and criticized Kalam for issuing an incorrect report, to which both Kalam and Chidambaram dismissed the claims. On his 89th birth anniversary, the 15th of October 2020, Prime Minister Narendra Modi leads the nation in paying tributes to Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam. In his message, the PM said, India can never forget his indelible contribution towards national development. Reasons why India proudly remembers Dr. Kalam as People's President. After being elected as the 11th President of India, for his simple nature, Abdul Kalam was dearly called People's President. He was a bachelor and a vegetarian. Dr. Kalam received honorary doctorates from 48 universities and institutions from India and abroad. Dr. Kalam is an inspiration, not only for Indians, but also to the world, because of his reaction to failure. He never stopped working and dreaming just because of failure. Instead he worked harder. Religious and spiritual views of Dr. Kalam. A proud and practicing Muslim. Daily namaz and fasting during Ramadan were integral to Kalam's life. Kalam believed that respect for other faiths was one of the key cornerstones of Islam. He was fond of saying, for great men, religion is a way of making friends, small people make religion a fighting tool. One component of Kalam's widespread popularity among diverse groups in India 
and an enduring aspect of his legacy, is the syncretism. He embodied in appreciating various elements, of the many spiritual and cultural traditions of India. In addition to his faith, in the Quran and Islamic practice, he also read, the Bhagavad Gita. International Accolades Kalam was known not just nationally but also internationally. Dr. Kalam's birth anniversary is celebrated as World Students Day, celebrated every year on October 15th. The United Nations declared October 15th as World Students Day in 2010. NASA's tribute to Kalam. For a newly discovered organism that was found on the International Space Station in 2017, NASA named the organism after APJ Adbul Kalam. The name of the organism is Solibacillus calami. Dr. Kalam also visited NASA in 1963, after which he went on to develop the successful Polar Satellite Launch Vehicle and SLV-3 projects. Between the 1970s and 1990s, Kalam made an effort to develop the PSLV and SLV-3 projects, both of which proved to be successful.